Well, I certainly picked one heck of a day to film an intro outside. What's going on everybody? My name is Brian, you're watching Angling Anarchy, and it's cold here in Wisconsin, in southern Wisconsin to be exact. It's It looks nice out because the sun's out, but it's hovering around the two degree mark Fahrenheit, so uh, I'll try to make this as short as possible. We have another vintage video today from uh, a trip from 2014. This is the second full day uh, that we're going to be out on the water, my dad and I. I boat four fish, three of those fish. I've already had in a video. It was three fish in 20 minutes. I'll leave a link for that up top here. You can watch that. But why not have a little montage right now? So yes, that was the fastest I've ever caught three muskies. I mean, that was it was back to back to back. That was craziness. And uh, I get one more fish in the afternoon, uh, a nice 43 incher. Dad actually boats a fish. It's not a muskie, but it's a nice pike. So we'll have that coming up. But really quick, I want to talk about uh, since we're not having any muskie shows really this year, the Wausau Muskie Bash. Now the Wausau Muskie Bash is going to be in the same place that the Wisconsin Muskie Expo is held, uh, being put on by the same fine folks, Rich Reinert, Penny Reinert, Mike Etzel. Uh, so it's going to be the same quality show. It's only going to be a day and a half, March 19th and 20th. So uh, a little bit shortened up, but a show nonetheless. Uh, unfortunately, I will not be there. Chaos Tackle will not be there. It, guys, it's, just, it's, it's hard for us to, as big of a booth as we set up, it's hard to justify going to a show for a day and a half. Um, we're going to miss seeing you guys there. We're going to do some online stuff. Rick and I have some stuff planned, uh, so keep an eye on Facebook. And I'm sure if we film something about new colors and that sort of thing, I'm going to try to have it here on this channel as well. So keep an eye out for that. But some more about the Muskie Bash. I have to read off my phone here because I can't remember everything. Uh, Friday, uh, we're going to have Brian Schaefer, Corey Olson, Corey's a good friend of mine. He's uh, We've done a couple river trips. Uh, I'll put some links to videos that we've done on uh, Northern Wisconsin rivers with him. Who else? Noah Binsfield. So uh, a solid lineup for Friday. Saturday is Bob Campbell, Fisher Smith. Fisher Smith is a young kid who is just a monster of a musky fisherman. So that's going to be a good one. Of course, Mike Keys, Keys Outdoors, and Joel McClung. Um, and you know, I think this is this is going to be a great place for smaller bait makers to show their wares, and I, I, it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm going to miss not being there, but we'll just have to wait till next year. With that business out of the way, we'll get on to the musky and the pike here. Uh, the musky. I was caught on a big weed bed and I was using a technique that I don't think a lot of people use often enough. We were on the inside of it casting out. Uh, my buddies had been fishing it from the outside and hadn't seen a fish the entire time. Uh, they'd been up there, they, they got up there a little bit earlier than us, so I tried something a little bit different, fished a little bit shallower on the inside and it resulted in a nice 43 inch muskie on a figure eight. Got him? Yep, yep. Let me just leave it set. Got it. Okay. I can't see him. Sorry, just 
this way, damn it. Perfect. Yeah. Ah, Jamie's gonna shit himself. <laughs> Sweet. Good. Yeah. You saw that thing coming. Uh, you need this right away. Or... Actually. Yeah. Careful or my chopper is catching up to us here. Sorry. I did release the sure. We had some weed too. That one sunk or two of them were sunk in. Yeah, boy. Um, how do you do that? <laughs> oh there you go. If it wouldn't have come out, I would have cut it. Okay. I'm going to put her back on so we stuff ready. All right. Uh, I got this. Go ahead and get the board out. What do you think? How long is he going to be? Oh, he's a 42 maybe. Low 40s are pretty good sized fish. Oh, yeah. And here again, I know I talked about it last time, but videoing yourself while you're fishing is just invaluable because I learned so much. You know, I, I'm still trying to improve that figure eight or that boat side maneuver. I really don't do a figure eight, I do a big oval. Um, and the reason I do a big oval and not a figure eight is I feel like I can keep that bait moving uh, and keep it wide enough where I'm not doing that middle cross that you do with an eight. So I try a big oval a couple times and if that doesn't work, I'll go into a figure eight just to get some more direction changes, but that's why I do a big oval. Other than that, guys, yeah, like I said, grab yourself a GoPro, get a, a YOLO tech stick or something like that that makes it easy to film. And, you know, if you guys ever have any questions about filming, please feel free to go on the Angling Anarchy Facebook page, hit me up uh, in the comments below. Uh, I'm more than happy to answer filming questions. I'm no expert, but I've I dabble in it quite a bit, obviously, so uh, more than happy to answer your guys' questions about filming. All right, so let's take a look at Dad's 34-inch uh, pike. It's a nice little pike. We'll watch that, and then we'll wrap this sucker up.
bağlı geldi şu an. That's it for this week's video. I hope you guys are enjoying some of this old footage that I'm uh, trying to uh, breathe a little life into with some creative editing and that sort of thing. So I hope you're enjoying it. I hope everyone's doing well. We are getting just that much closer to actually musky fishing. Uh, Nate and I have a trip planned for the first part of March. I don't know where we're going yet, but we're going somewhere uh, south of here anyway, where we have some open water and we're gonna chase muskies very soon. Thank you so much everyone for watching. I really do appreciate it and I will see you on the next video.